NBC crew member recounts 2012 kidnapping by Syrian gunmen. Richard Engel, a senior foreign correspondent at NBC News and one member of the six-member team that was kidnapped in Syria in 2012, has recounted the group's ordeal after recent information unearthed by the New York Times suggested that Engel was wrong about the identity of his kidnappers. Six members of an NBC News team were detained by 15 masked men carrying AK-47s in mid-December 2012. The journalists were bound, blindfolded and led to a waiting container truck, where they were stripped of all their belongings including their passports, money, equipment, belts and shoes. The kidnappers eventually brought the journalists to a farmhouse, where they then removed everyone's blindfolds and forced the journalists to film a video for them. As the kidnappers searched through their bags, they found the group's emergency GPS device. The kidnappers then unwittingly set off the GPS beacon, which broadcast the group's location. Five days after the journalists were initially abducted, they were once again bound, blindfolded and led to a van. After driving for a few minutes, their vehicle reached a checkpoint and gunshots rang out from the Syrian rebels manning the checkpoint. The van's driver and passenger fired back. NBC News reports that, according to the rebels, both men were shot and killed. The journalists were then able to climb through the van's driver's side and passenger windows. One journalist reported seeing a dead body near the vehicle's wheel. Gunmen from a Syrian rebel group then freed the NBC crew and took the journalists with them before the group flew to Turkey the next day. During the ordeal, the crew members thought that their kidnappers were Shiite militiamen loyal to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The New York Times, however, has uncovered information suggesting that the Syrian rebels who rescued the journalists had some kind of relationship with the kidnappers. Follow us down the rabbit hole. Visit the tomonews.net website or download the app today.